Hi and welcome to the second video on this channel in this new year. In today's video, we will be discussing numbers, the numbers concerning the processing of diversity visa cases for the first quarter of the fiscal year 2022. Now, before we get into that, let me just give a little background regarding our discussion. As you are aware, the diversity visa lottery results are released in the month of May, and each entrant has the responsibility to go about checking their own result. Now, at that time, we do not know much concerning the overall results of the lottery, and that goes on for about three months. Now, somewhere around July or August, the State Department publishes in the Visa Bulletin the breakdown of the results that were released in the month of May. And that is when we get to know things like the number of selectees by country, by region, the total number of selectees, the total number of entrants, etc. Now, those cases begin processing in October. And for the first quarter, that is October, November, and December, the first quarter of the fiscal year, we do not know much until at the beginning of the second quarter. That is when the State Department releases more information, now this time regarding the processing of visas for the first quarter. And this is what has just happened a week ago. Now there is someone who takes out his time to compile that information and publish it to his website. I'm going to drop the link to that website in the description of this video. You can click on it and have a look at the data in its entirety. But in this video, we will be discussing only the first part, that is the summary table regarding the processing of diversity visa cases for the first quarter of the fiscal year. So let's move over to our computer and consider the data published. So this is the website of the gentleman who has been very gracious to provide us with this information on the 1st of January every year. As you can see on the left side here, uh, we have the menu. At the bottom of the menu, we see that the data dates back as far as 2015 and it goes up to the data that was released just a week ago. As you can see, DB2022, CEAC or SEAC data. All right, so this is the data that is of interest to us in this video. Now, we click on this link and it takes us to this first chart. This is the chart that we are going to discuss in this video. As you can see at the top of this page, we have DB2022 SEAC data. SEAC is the Consular Electronic Application Center of the U.S. State Department. Now, so this is the table we will be discussing in this video. And as you can see, the titles of this our table, we have region, that is, uh, in the first column here, we have the different regions. We have issued, refused, etc. Now, we will get back to each one of these columns in a moment, but for the sake of better understanding, I uh, ask that we consider this table in reverse order. That is, instead of considering it from left to right, let us do from right to left. So beginning at the right end of the table, we have transit as the heading of the final column. Now, let me mention that these different titles that you see at the top of this table indicate the different stages that cases go through in a diversity visa program. So transit is like the first stage in this table. But before this transit stage, there are three other stages that selectees go through. Let me just list them. The first of those stages is uh, when you are selected, but you have not yet submitted your DS-260. That is the stage of the selectee upon checking their result. After that stage comes the submission of the DS-260. So you are selected, and then the second stage is the submission of your DS-260. The third stage is at the level of the NVC, that is the National Visa Center. In the case of the Diversity Visa Program, is that KCC. It is after that we come to the transit or in transit stage. And that stage describes the cases that are being transferred from KCC to 
the relevant embassies. So as we can see in the column under transit here, we have various numbers beginning with the Africa region. For the Africa region, at the end of the first quarter of the fiscal year 2022, we had 124 cases in transit from KCC to the relevant embassies. For Asia, it was 50. For EU, that is Europe, 29. 3 for Oceania, 6 for South America. After the cases leave the transit stage, they now arrive at the embassy. So this second column where you see is written ready indicates the cases that are at the various embassies ready to be interviewed. The numbers that are in parenthesis are the actual cases and then the ones outside the parenthesis are the number of persons in those cases. So for Africa, at the end of the first quarter, we have 334 cases that were at the embassies in Africa, constituting 525 persons. For Asia, 227, constituting 391 persons. For Europe, 845 cases, constituting 1,760, and it goes on for Oceania and the South America region. Now, after the visas are at the embassy ready to be interviewed, the next three columns that you see here are all outcomes of interviews. As you can see in this first column, we have issue that is the number of visas that were issued. The second column contains the numbers that were refused and finally AP. So, for Africa, we had 47 cases that were issued visas in the first quarter. That is a total of 69 persons, 69 visas. For Asia, 9 cases were issued, a total of 13 persons. Europe, 61 cases that received visas, a total of 100 persons. Oceania, 6 cases, that is 6 persons, only one applicant in each of these cases. And for South America, we had 4 cases constituting six persons now the same goes for the number of visas that were refused in africa one visa was refused one case and that case was one person and so on finally we have the ap or administrative processing for those who do not know it is the outcome of an interview when the consular officer doesn't feel that the applicant deserves being issued a visa and at the same time things that he or she doesn't have sufficient evidence to deny them. So these cases you see in this column are cases that were put on hold until the consular section can conduct background investigation and come up with a decision. Now at the bottom of this table we have the totals. But I want to draw your attention to one total that is the total number of visas issued. We had a total of 127 cases that received visas totaling 194 persons now so can you imagine out of 55,000 visas that are available only 194 were issued during the first quarter that is not good sign for DV 2022 program if things continue in this way it means that we will be very, very short of reaching the 55,000 visas that are on offer. So, the number of interviews conducted in the coming months to be very high in order to get close to the 55,000 visas that are on offer this fiscal year. So, as I said, I'm going to drop the link to the website of this gentleman in the description of this video. You can click on that link and view this table and other data relating to the first quarter of the diversity visa 2022 program so with that we end our video for today thanks for watching it now if you have any questions go ahead and leave it in the comments below and i will be more than glad to respond to them and if you are not yet subscribed to this channel click the subscribe button and I will see you, God willing, in the next video. Goodbye.